Win. Hi, this is Fritz Westover with Westover Viticulture, and I'm going to show how to train cordons on a double trunk vine. This is Cabernet Sauvignon. The first year the vine was cut back down to the ground. The second year the grower chose to bring two strong shoots up and lay them down onto the cordon wire to get an advanced development on cordons. Uh, sometimes in colder regions we use two trunks and the idea is not to extend the cordons more than about five to seven buds onto the cordon wire. And we want to make sure we're always leaving wood that's at least pencil size or greater. So we're trimming off all of the excess laterals on that wood to make sure that we don't get uh, small wood pushing buds. If we have a lateral that is close enough to the uh, cane that we're using as a cordon, usually within a finger, I'm okay leaving one bud on there. On this side we'll use the same thing elbow to fist or about five to seven buds for extending that. We always make sure we leave one bud in a downward direction to extend that cordon the following year. And the reason we don't leave the whole thing is because we want to focus on developing strong spurs on this first 12 to 16 inches of cordon. Again, I'll cut those laterals off, leaving one bud only if I have pencil size wood and it's within a finger. So here we have the finished product and next year we're going to grow a little bit farther out on the wire to extend that cordon and by year four we'll be in full production on this vine.